know Zario Design, welcome to my channel. If you've been following along in the series, welcome back to the channel. This is part seven of a 10 part uh, tutorial series as an introduction into 3D CAD design. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This uh, next one is, uh, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be a little tricky. Uh, it's gonna take some extra steps, um, but it's going to, uh, we're, we're going to revisit some of the steps we've been, you know, following, um, we, we've been taking in a previous um, design. So we'll go ahead and get started. Also, I'd like to note that the I'm using a Windows operating system. So all of my key, uh, my keystrokes and everything correspond with that system. All right. So with this drawing here, we're going to get started with the IDOD uh, and the, the Z axis, right? So let's see, we're going to go to our top view, create sketch, and we're going to select this plane, this face. All right, so with a drawing like this, I'm going to start at center line. Uh, it's just easier to, to lock to and to work from. Um, and also you'll see later on in the, the, the sketch why I chose to go to uh, the origin, to start at the origin, at center line. So we're using the center diameter circle. Snap to it, left click. Diameter is 18. Okay. And also if you haven't been following along, let's say we just stumble upon this. Um, all of our dimensions are in millimeters. So you want to go make sure you go over to the document settings and the active unit is in millimeter. I have it set by default, so I don't have to do it every document. All right. So following that first diameter of 18, the second one is going to be 40. All right. Press enter. Okay. So we have those two locked in. All right. Now, uh, what we need to do, let's see, what will be the easiest way to do this. Hmm. Okay. All right. So the next step we're going to do is uh, that floor, right? Because right now we're just breaking it down. We're working from macro to micro. Uh, so the larger services, we're going to go ahead and knock out the way first. Okay. So we have our initial IDOD inside diameter, outside diameter, and we want to establish um, some parameters, right? So from the center of the first ID uh, to the next one is going to be 70 mil, right? We want to establish that on this plane. Go over to our construction line, go to line type, and we're going to do a construction line from the center. You want to just kind of drag it up and we're going to type in 70. All right. The next line from that point to the end point of the um, part, uh, this will be the length of the part, right? So it calls for 75 from that 70. Okay. Now we want to establish uh, the floor Right, you'll see that. Um, uh, see, I should have put up a reference picture, but um, that dimension down there that says 54, we want to establish that. But in order to do that, right, it, it, we have to create like a wall. Uh, so from that 75 here, we're going to put another parameter from that 75. We're going to go down to, why is it doing that? Hmm. One second. Okay. All right. So uh, we're going to put down uh, 25. Okay. Um, now from there, we can turn off our construction line and go down to, we'll just go over to our solid line. And from that point, where we took it back 25 mil, you want to click on that. Okay. Now the width of that center 
uh, portion of the part where uh, appears to be like some sort of like a triangle with the ID OD attached to it. Um, the width, the overall width of that segment, that section is going to be 12 mil, but we're working off a center line, so we want to type in six. Okay, and then the next dimension calls for 54. Let's see. There we go. All right, my keyboard doing some funny stuff. It might be time to clean it. So, since we have that established, see, I could have done a, a single segment, like add these two together to make 60. The reason I broke it up is because technically on the drawing, they're two separate um, entities, right? So, we're going to drag, we're going to uh, create a line segment from that six millimeters and drag it down. Okay. And it's going to lock on into this um, this intersection, right? When you drag it down, it's going to kind of snap to it. You see the intersection point. Go in and uh, left click it. Okay. And then from this point, this end point here for the uh, 54 millimeters, you want to click from there. And we're going to hit this tangent. And you see how it locks it in. And then we can do the same thing on the other side. You could mirror it, but right now we're just going to kind of keep it simple. Um, let's see, it didn't do it right. Okay, let's try that again. Okay. There it is. All right. And then same thing, 54. Okay, all right, there we go. All right, now, uh, let's see. We could put in another, because we're probably extrude, we're gonna have some extrusions to do. So let's go ahead and put in another parameter. So the width of that next um, section is gonna be 16 mil. And you kind of see that on the drawing. Okay. Okay, because the reason we're doing this is because um, we're going to do some extrusions and this is going to be one uh, face that we're going to extrude going up. Okay, so let's see. All right, that looks good. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's start doing some extrusions. All right, so let's go to our isometric view. Go ahead and click the home button. All right. Now, this first extrusion is going to be that first IDOD that we did. And the total height of that extrusion calls for 21 millimeters. Okay. Now, you see it got rid of our sketches. Let's go ahead and go back and put that in. Okay. So, the next one calls for 16. All right. So, you see... How you highlight it, I highlight these faces, these profiles. Let's extrude one. Let's see, let's do them um, one at a time. I'm sh well, actually, let's see. Okay, let's do these both at a time. So that dimension calls for 16. Okay, and then that center one. We're going to do the same thing, but it's going to be its own body, right? It's going to want to try to join it. So let's create a new body. Okay, there we go. Press OK. And now the same thing here. Extrude. And you want a new body. If you click on the face, it's, it can snap to it. And that's what we want. Press OK. Let's go to isometric. All right, so now we have the first portion. Okay. So from there, let's see. What we'll do next is let's see, what will be the next step? Hmm. Let's go ahead and extrude this portion up next. Okay. 
we're going to extrude to this surface but we're going to create a new body okay all right now from there we're, cre we're going to create um, a profile um, at the at the center line of the page so in order to do that we want to go to uh let's see let's go to origin actually we don't have to do that let's go to construct go ahead click on the drop down menu go to mid plane now the mid plane is going to be between these two surfaces you can do it between these two actually let's see what happens if we do it between these two because all we're trying to do is put an offset plane right in the middle of our part so we can draw on that plane okay you see it, it pulls up like a little orange face that's our construction plane press ok now from there we can manipulate the plane the size of the plane so you just kind of drag those two points actually it's four points do it like that and just drag it through the part now what this is going to allow us to do is draw on this plane go ahead and left click it create sketch and now we're drawing on that construction plane now we want to pull uh, all of our points in from the surfaces that we created go down to create project you click each one you can do the body but it gets a little tricky uh, doing that I like to just select you know just specify your entity so go ahead click each one press ok alright so because we are doing it this way we're able to draw on this plane and incorporate all of the dimensions and stuff you know all the points and everything that we created already all right now uh, let's see okay so let's do our construction line we want to go from the center of this ID OD it's going to be right here. Let's make sure. Let's tilt it up a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's create a line and we're going to go to the center. So you see how it snaps? Go ahead and click on that. It's going to snap to the midpoint. Now you want to go down. Let's go to the right side. Drag it down. And we're going to drag down 70 mil. Okay. Uh, now, let's see. The next dimension, in order to establish the center of the ID OD, from that 70 millimeters, we're going to go, we're going to snap to that, drag it up, and the dimension calls for 45 mil. Okay. Now we're going to turn off our construction line and we're going to do a center diameter circle from that point we just created. That first dimension is going to be 16 mil. That's for the ID. The second one calls for 40 mil. All right. So we created uh, our ID OD for the uh, that center portion of the part. Now from there, we're going to create uh, a line a couple of line segments right so the distance from uh, the base let's see if we did this right nope that doesn't look right okay so let's back up a few steps okay now what we did technically that 45 millimeters starts at the base of the part and not um, from the height of the uh, diameter, the IDOD. Um, let me try to flip it. So you see the mistake we I made here was doing it uh, from establishing the height at 45 mil from the same height of the IDOD. I was supposed to establish it from here. 
so let's go back down to our right side view click line now we put in the constraint the 70 millimeters we can just drag it down let's go back to our construction line drag it down and we want it to hit let's see that point let's see if it's doing this right one second okay so it won't lock it won't snap so what we need to do let's lock in at 90 degrees okay and then this should allow us to snap right to that line there it is five right or you can just do the math 21 minus 16 is five so you can do it like that too now from that point we want to drag it right back up because again that 45 mil goes from the platform and not the height of the idod so let's go back up and we want to make sure you're in a straight line type in 45 turn off the construction line center diameter circle and we want it to be a solid circle 16 for the ID 40 for the OD okay now we want to finish up on uh, creating our um, that middle portion so from there that dimension calls for 65 wait but again we're not going from that plane we're going from the bottom one so let's go back down okay 65 all right now if we did this right this line should connect from here right to the tangent and it does that's what we want um the way to check that you saw it say 50 this is 25 and this is 50 which equals to 75 that continues um that starts at the 70 mark right so that's how you know where everything is in the right place okay now what we want to do is create another uh, profile because like i said we're going to be doing some extrusions now we want to drag it we want to snap don't press anything just kind of snap to the center of the I of the ID you kind of drag it over and you see how it snaps at 90 degree uh, we want to click that left click it and it should snap to the tangent of this OD drag it down and again we want to go to the base okay now let's lock it in at 90 because like I said it's not for some reason it don't want to snap now let's lock it down to this base and it should be 45 there we go we created this profile now now what we have to do uh, let's see we're going to create a theoretical let's see if it'll let us do it okay let's go back to right side okay all right let's see if it'll let us all right so we're going to create a line segment that goes from this line here at this intersection where the ID OD meets this um, this face here this uh, part this uh, section snap left click and you want to drag it up to the tangent there you go all right now the reason we're doing this be um, right now is because uh, with the extrusions it's, it's going to help us establish a loft we're going to have to use the loft function like we did with the last drawing so what you want to do is draw another line from this intersection and kind of drag it up and it should snap to it left click it and you're going to see why I did this in a few moments go ahead finish the sketch alright let's go to isometric or you just click the little house all right now we want to do some extrusions let's extrude this face in both directions you see the extrusion menu popped up we want to do symmetric and the distance is going to be from center line okay so the, di the distance we want to establish is the width of that idod 
which is 20, uh, 24. 24 divided by 2 is 12. All right. Press enter and it locks it in. Let's bring it the sketches back. Now, the next one we want to extrude is this profile and this profile. Okay. So let's hit the extrude first so we can select multiple faces at the same time. Okay. And now, same thing, you want to go symmetric. So the width of this section is going to be uh, overall 12, but since we're doing it from center line, it's going to be 6. All right. Now, you'll see what I did here. You see that I created this uh, little portion here from the tangent. And see, it's already ready to connect from this face, this segment here, to this segment here. That's why I did it like that. So to connect these two sections, you want to use the loft tool. Let's see if it'll let us do it. You want to click this face and then click this face. There it is. That was uh, flawless. Exactly what we want. Go ahead and press OK. Okay, let's see if it did it right. Okay. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. That's what we want. All right. Now you can even join these two if you want. And you click the combine function. Let's see if it let us. It looked like him. Yeah. Okay. So it looked like he already joined everything. All right. It didn't look like it because see, these are two separate entities. Let's see if it'll let me click, click that face combine. Ah, it won't let me do it. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to ignore that. We know that we did it right. Uh, because you could tell, look at the rest of the function. I mean, I'm sorry the face and see that it's clean. All right. Now for the, um, last two parts of this, we're going to go back to this section here okay let's click on this face as you see that's why I created this extrusion here so we can draw on this face create sketch right we want to do the same thing go to create project and include we're going to project and we're going to project this and this press ok all right now we're going to create um, construction lines because now we have to establish the last IDOD so this is the base right this is the base of the part which is 16 millimeters want to connect from there go up it's going to snap to midpoint see how it snapped to midpoint that's what you want so go all the way up and now let's see That dimension calls for 90, 90 millimeters. Okay, go ahead and click that. Now let's turn off our construction line and we're going to create the diameters, the inside and outside diameter. So that point we created, go ahead and click on that, left click it, and that calls for 30. And then the second one, the OD, uh, calls for a radius of 30 which is really 60 okay now we want to connect a segment line from here to the tangent of this OD on both sides so go ahead and left click that left click you see the little uh, tangent icon popped up go ahead and left click it it locked it in as a constraint you do the same thing over here all right that looks good. Let's finish the sketch. All right. So now we're coming to the last portion. Okay. What we want to do, we don't want to do an extrusion. And the reason I did it off this face here is because we can now extrude to the rear, which is what the drawing calls for. So this first one, we're going to do the IDOD. Okay. Make sure you click both faces. You see the OD, IDOD is uh, uh, fully selected. We're going to drag it to the rear, and that dimension calls for 25. Okay, you see our drawings went away. Let's bring them back. 
Now, this calls for uh, 16, which would be the width of this uh, plat, you know, this per portion of the platform, right? Extrude, you want to extrude this. Let's see. Extrude this face and extrude this face. And the easy way of doing it is just clicking. You can snap to that. You want to create a new body, right? Let's check underneath to make sure it did it right. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, it's clean. Press OK. Let's get rid of our sketches. Go to home. And there you have it. All right. Now, let's see if this will let us um, combine. Let's see, Okay, there it is. The reason we're combining is so we can get rid of that segment right there. Okay. There we go. That looks good. That's what we want. We can do the same thing here too. Nope. It didn't work. Okay. It's already combined. All right. We're good to go. Let's, so let's click on the house. All right. It's that simple. So uh, thank you all for tuning in for part seven of this 10 part series. Uh, if you can show me some love, like and subscribe um, on my page. I appreciate all the love I can get. Uh, it helped me keep going and uh, stay tuned for the next part um, of this series. This uh, The next one is going to be <laughs> really good. I hope you enjoy it and uh, until next time.